Hello, and welcome back to another mailbag day here on Comic Vantage. This is a day where I pull out my stash that I've been storing in the closet for the last, I don't know, four months. <laughs> At least part of the stash, anyway. I don't want these videos to get too long. And uh, I unbox them and I show you what I got. So, let's get started. So, first up, today we have... Oh, look at this lovely stack right here. Not too bad. Now, I want to start off with a little rant. Do, 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 do. Anyway, look at this thing. I opened it already because I was... Uh, yeah, that's right. Paper thin. Oh, my, I was glad this is actually a fluff book that I just bought for fun. I didn't buy this because it was worth anything. I didn't buy it for a signing. I just bought it because I wanted it. Now, look at this. You saw the envelope. I'm not joking here. A manila envelope that is the packing material a manila envelope I could not believe it when I saw that all right well let me show you the book because the book actually wasn't in bad shape surprisingly it survived and it's a Dungeons and Dragons number one this is from DC way, way, way back in the day. I was a huge Dungeons and Dragons player when I was younger, growing up. And I just went, I've always wanted to read these books. So I figured I'd start with this one. Not bad. It's a great cover, too. Man, that thing's gorgeous. And it surprisingly is in really good shape. It survived the trip. I don't feel any spine creases. I really think the post office took care of this in the shipping. So, awesome. Anyway, let's see what else we got in here. Haha. -ha. Next up. All right, where's the best place to attack this? That looks good. Cardboard! Surprisingly, a person that knows how to pack books. Which seems to be a rarity nowadays. Anyway. There's number one. I actually forgot my little little handy paper cutter thing. So I don't want to cut into the books, do I? Woohoo! Nice. One more. Come on, we can do this. Aha! All right, let's see what this is. Oh, check it out. It's my darker image platinum edition. Wow, that thing is Cool. These darker image books really aren't worth a whole lot, but I think it'd be really neat to get it signed by Rob Liefeld, Jim Lee, and uh, Sam Keith one day. Jim Lee, really easy for me to get. Rob Liefeld, I don't know if I could bring myself to pay for a Rob Liefeld autograph on that. But I think Sam Keith and Jim Lee I could pull off. It could be kind of fun. Awesome. All right. Next up, Gemini Mailer. At least I hope it's Gemini Mailer. That's what it looks like. So easy to open. Yes, Gemini Mailer. This one's in really good shape too. So I'll definitely keep this and reuse it. All right, what are you? You are a whole lot of tape holding down a book. You are, hey, look at that. Daredevil 111, First Lady Bullseye. It's a gorgeous Terry Dodson cover. I've, I don't know, I've been kind of hearing some rumblings about this book, and it's starting to pick up a little bit of heat, so I don't know why. If anybody out there can tell me, just let me know. I mean, maybe because it's just a badass cover. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'd grab one. Man, this has actually been sitting upstairs in my little stock for, oh, I think I bought this four months ago? And I also bought it for Clay Man to sign. I have a Clay Man autograph coming up. So yeah, there we go. And there's an absolutely amazing variant cover to this book that just, whoa, man, the price is really up there for it. I mean, you're looking at well over a hundred bucks if you're looking at that variant cover. Okay, what else do we got? Ha uh ha. -huh. Another Gemini mailer, perhaps? Ooh. 
you are a book that's taped down. All right. Okay, what do we got? We have cardboard on both sides, so I have no idea. All right, there we go. That's a nice bag and board. I will keep that if I can get this tape off of it. Beautiful. <laughs> a lot of noise for everybody out there. And you are, hey, X-Men Legacy 214. Wow, that's a cool cover. If I'm not mistaken, I bought this because this is the first Miss Sinister. Awesome. All right. All right, next package up. Wow, this one is really heavy. What the hell is this? Oh, it's multiple books. I have no idea what this could possibly be. I am at a complete and total loss here. This is probably one of those that's been sitting up there for the last three or four months. And I never looked at them. So are they all in one bag? Oh wow, they're all in one bag. Okay, definitely have to rebag these, so I will just carefully cut around the edge. All right, what are you? You are, oh hey, my Factor X books. This should be the whole mini series right here. There's two. Three and four. And we got some weird gum stuff sticking a couple issues together. I'm going to have to clean off. Other than that, man, these things are beautiful. Wow. Corners are sharp. Pages are nice and bright and crisp and shiny. Ooh. Now, I actually bought these because of the age-old argument of Bedlam's first appearance in a comic book. <laughs> uh, I know I unveiled the X-Force book that I had with Bedlam a while back, and then I also bought this, just to have my bases covered. You never know. And I will definitely have to rebag those. All right, next up. And this came all the way from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Let's see what is in here. I have no problems buying stuff out of country. I can usually get really good deals. All right, tape. And you are the great reveal is oh check it out Wonder Woman three of three Blackest Night the Star Sapphire Wonder Woman I picked this up because of the Greg Horn cover and I will be getting Greg Horn to sign it I have a signing with him coming up Rel no, not relatively soon. Maybe a few months down the line. Wow, I'm actually losing track of all these signatures I have to get. I have coming this past year or this next year. All right, so we have that. Next, possibly another Gemini mailer. This is a Gemini mailer. They packed it really well. Stuffed it nice and fat. It's pretty light though, so it's only one book. Yep. It's totally a Gemini mailer. Gemini score this week. And we got some packing material to keep. I am a packing material and box hoarder. 
And you are? Well, Scooby Apocalypse number one. Check that out. This is a series I've been wanting to read just because it sounds kind of interesting. I picked this one up, though, because of the Jim Lee artwork, the cover, and the Alex Sinclair uh, coloring. And I'm meeting both of them in December of this year. And I, was, I know I'm at least going to get Sinclair to sign this book. Maybe Jim Lee. I've got like 10 or 11 other Jim Lee books I need him to sign before this one, though. Wow, this book is in great, great shape as well. Nice. Oh, pretty excited for that. Cool. And last but not least, let's see what we have here. Oh, that's an interesting way to pack. We created our own bumper all the way around. Oh, that's kind of ingenious. All right. more bubble wrap what is the bubble wrap protecting oh i know what this is this is actually a book i purchased recently oh and this person used magic tape so all the tape is coming right off and i can reuse the bubble wrap you are book that's definitely not for children. This is Night Cry number one. This was a uh, anthology series, a horror anthology series actually, that came out in the 90s. Uh, particularly late 90s is when it started coming out, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there was two gentlemen, uh, Joe Monks and Joe Lintzner, who were creating an awesome anthology book back in the day called Cry for Dawn. So that duo kind of split up and they went their own separate ways. And Joe Lintzner took Dawn and started making her own comic book with her. Uh, she was no longer this Vanna White type of hostess character in an anthology book. And Joe Monks continued on creating another anthology book, which was Night Cry. He's a really good writer. Now, these Night Cry books, though... What made them so interesting is there's a lot of current pros who did early work in these books. And I picked this one up specifically for, right there on the top, penciled by Ed McGinnis of Deadpool fame and now Avengers. And this was some, I don't think this was his first work he ever did, but this was very, very early work by Ed McGinnis. And I have a signing coming up with him at the end of... June, like actually like the last day of June, and I want him to sign this. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, there's also work in here by Everett Hartso, who did Razor. I love Everett Hartso. He's usually at the same con that I'm going to have McGinnis sign this at, so I want to get both of them to sign it if I can. And eventually I want to get Brian Polito, because he did a work in here as well. Awesome. Really happy with that. Such just great, great stories. The, the indie books of the 90s were just absolutely amazing. I don't think anything will ever touch them. They were so... They were rebellious, and... I don't know, it was... It's really hard to explain. The whole indie scene back in the 90s, it was very, very cool. So, actually, I'm going to reuse this lovely bag and board I just got, because this one's too big. Oh, it's a fat book, so it might not fit in here. <laughs> and this one's actually a Silver Age as well. But it's in better shape, so I'll use that one. All right, so let's recap what I got this week. We got our Night Cry number one for our Ed McGinnis signing. Our Scooby Apocalypse number one for our Alex Sinclair and Jim Lee signing. Wonder Woman Blackest Night number three. This is for our Greg Horn signing. And then we have the Factor X miniseries from the Age of Apocalypse storyline, just to cover our bases with the Bedlam appearance. Now, uh, if anyone out there has not read the Age of Apocalypse storyline, you should really grab some of these books. They're a, a lot of fun. X-Men Legacy number 214. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first Miss Sinister. At least I hope I'm right on that one. Lady Bullseye number one. First appearance of Lady Bullseye. And Clay Man artworks. So I'll be getting Clay Man to sign this book. Our Darker Image Platinum. I just bought this because, just to have it. 
I like it. And our Advanced Dungeons and Dragons number one that survived this arduous journey across the country in nothing but a manila envelope. It's a warrior. Issue number one right here. Bought it just for fun. All right, people. So those are my mailbag for the week. Thank you for watching. Uh, to all my current subscribers, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. I love all the likes. I love all the comments. Everybody that's been sharing. You know, make sure you put this everywhere. You know, share this up on your Facebook, your Twitter, anything you want to do. Your Google Plus. Hey. <laughs> and to all my... Uh, and actually, all the new people that just, you know, signed up today and are watching right now, make sure you the little CV over there so you subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon up there to get all my notifications. And uh, like always, thank you for watching and take it easy.